and fun. This uh, Aubrey and the boys, no strangers to the winners brackets. They were the 2011 Hoop Fest champs and the 2019 runners up. So this is the team that uh, knows how to get it done. Knows how to get it done, but. It seems like as runners up, they've also been in this position, like we said before, where if they need to just grind and, and outsmart, outwit some people, they're capable of doing that. So, and Morgan, Morgan Maxey, Mason Maxey, they're both competitors. I remember watching them in high school. Um, pretty sure they went to Ferris High School, if, if I'm correct. Um, so we have some people that are very accustomed to winning, but as we know, there can only be one winner at Hoop Fest, so we'll have to see who, who gets it done today. It will be out of bounds first off to Aubrey and the boys, and taking it out of bounds will be Aubrey Shelton, went to University of Puget Sound, wants to say hello to his wife and daughter in the stands. Passes the ball over on the left side. This is his brother. This is Austin. Back over to Aubrey. Aubrey, down inside. Shot, nope, go for a pass on the right wing. Shot up to two, it's good. And just like we spoke about having somebody comfortable down low, getting that inside presence for a kick out. It looks like um, we have a shooter in our miss, which can open the floor up significantly in Hoop Fest. That was Ben Shelton for the two, so the quick lead for Aubrey and the boys to nothing. Now it's 2 1, they go underneath, and a nice job by Maxi Law to get it inside to Jason Bates. Jason Bates with a reverse lane for one, it's 2 1, Aubrey and the boys. Left side, held another two. It looks like Aubrey and the boys are going to settle for that two-pointer, and if it's going for you, why not? So I think now if you're Maxi Law, you got to figure out he's feeling good already. It's early, but he's gone two for two from behind the line. I'm sure they'll adjust next possession. This is Morgan Maxi with it, loses the handle, and taken away by Aubrey and the boys. Another two. This one is no good. First miss from beyond the arc. Bit of a heat check there, but not, not far off the mark, which is which is scary if you're Maxi Law. Yeah, exactly. You guys can get the hot hand. They can, they can hurt you quickly. This is Maxi. This Morgan Maxi on the drive, taking it down low, and he had some good presence down low in the game I saw yesterday. Put a little jump hook up. No good. The shot right side, another two. Halfway down, tough luck shot, no. Rebound Bjorn Halverson. Halverson, his first touch. Gives to Jason Bates. Jason Bates on the drive with the left hand off the window. Nice shot, took it right to the hoop. 4-2, Aubrey and the boys with a two-point lead. If you can drive like that, somebody set a pick, drive like that, take it to the hoop every time. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't need to be anything more challenging than just a simple pick and roll. That still applies here at the three-on-three -three game. Great finish at the rim. Aubrey Shelton passes over on the left side to his brother, Austin. Back to Aubrey. Aubrey gives off to Ben Shelton. Ben Shelton shot from the outside is no good. Again, they're relying on that outside shot. Yeah, and they've got a couple good looks at it. And they're right now they're two for four, two for five, I think. So... Everybody seems capable of letting it fly from behind the arc, as we see there. And that one by Shelton is no good. Things get a little physical that last time when uh, Maxie took it down low. Yeah. His bodies were flying everywhere. I mean, Maxie's a, a big guy, broad shoulders. Right now, they're doing a good job of keeping him as a bit of a non-factor. He hasn't seen the ball in his hands too much. But that is exhausting to guard somebody like that who's just so physical and dominant down low. Ben Shelton taking it to the hoop. but got a re Ejected from behind. Nice job by Maxi Law. We're stuck on 4-2. We've been here for a minute or two. Is the score? Maxi Law trying to get back into it and throwing it out of bounds. That'll be a turnover. Give it back to Aubrey and the boys. Glad to have you along. This is the second game of many games, Shaq. We're going to be here for a long time today. Yeah, what a beautiful place. What a beautiful day. Yesterday was gorgeous. Today's even better. It was so nice yesterday. Just to walk around the the Hoop Best site and just enjoy all the sounds. It's been a while since we, we've yes. had Hoop Fest here, so it was really, really nice. And I think just having that time off has given so many people perspective of why we do events like this and how good it is right. for our community. So I'm just thankful to be a part of it. We've had two, as I'm just rambling on, there's been two people to hit two long-range shots, which is scary because if you hit 10 of those, the game's done. But yeah. <laughs> and here we are, 4-6. We're moving right along this morning. Aubrey and the boys with that two-point lead, making a four-point lead, like just right out of the shoot. You just say it in another two-point shot. I hope I don't jinx anybody. <laughs> that, that was Austin Shelton. I, I hope they them. continue to hit hit from outside. Maxie going to take 
Ben Shelton in, or excuse me, Aubrey Shelton inside. Put up that little jump hook. It did not go. Outlet is out of bounds, and it will be Maxi Law with the ball. It's funny that yesterday I did the, I know you did the morning games, I did the afternoon yeah. games. And the sun, of course, coming up from the east, and it's on our shoulders now. Last night I did the last game of the game about 4 <laughs> o'clock, and it was over on the right side with the shadows. So the shadows are just a lot different than they were yeah. just a short few hours ago. We are protected a little bit now this, this year being under the pavilion. There are some, like, interesting shadows due to the shape of yeah. the pavilion and everything. But from... From what I've heard, general consensus is that people love that center court is in this location this year. Aubrey Shelton from deep. This is a two-nothing but net as the Shelton brothers and Aubrey and the boys continue to hit those long range. Yeah, I think if you're Maxi Law, you have to adjust. Make them do something else. Make them show you something different. Double team down low. Maxi has to send it back up top. Nice pass to Jason Bates. Jason Bates hits it straight away. Two. 10-6, Maxie's Law sticking in it. Yeah, you go from being down by six to only down by four in just a matter of seconds. And another two. Well, I tell you what, when, you, when you're hot, you can you can win easily in Hoop Fest, but you live and die by the three. You cool off and the other team get back in a heartbeat. Yeah, definitely. I think as a team as well, if, if you see that somebody, one of your teammates is, is hot and they've opened up the hoop a little bit, it does make you a little bit more comfortable, a bit more confident to let it fly yourself. Bobby Moorhead loses the ball, taken away by Morgan Maxey. He gets it back up top to Jason Bates. Jason Bates hit that too long. Just a minute ago, he's going to fire another one. This one halfway down, tough luck shot, no good. Ball out of bounds, last touch by Maxi Law. Give it back to Aubrey and the boys. Did you get a chance to walk around and just see the sights? And Yeah, I did. I got to see a couple of friends' games, which was really fun. Cheer them on. It was just beautiful weather. But you don't want to play anymore. Oh, maybe maybe I'll do like the family division with my daughter at some stage. Gotcha. Um, but I enjoy I enjoy this, Steve. I enjoy and, calling games with you now. And you know what? You don't get hurt either. I was gonna say, and you know, my knees don't ache <laughs> later on. You know, my my voice might be a bit sore, but yeah. you know, Just that's some... that's nothing compared to the, the achy joints and road rash. Aubrey Shelton, one of the few shots we've seen inside by Aubrey and the boys. This one was Aubrey Shelton. Went to the University of Puget Sound, got low position, put it up and in. It's 13-6, a seven-point lead right now for Aubrey and the boys. Maxi Law inside. This is Bates. Bates goes up, got fouled. Foul on Bobby Moorhead. Free throw coming for Jason Bates. You can see that just when Morgan Maxi has the ball in his hands that he just kind of demands your attention. Yeah. So there, I think... Aubrey and the boys got a little bit stuck watching because they were concerned about what he was going to do. Made a nice little drop-off pass. Ended up in a free throw. 13-7. Six-point lead now for Aubrey and the boys. So if you're the Maxi Law team, you've got to start playing some defense and, and not allow those outside shots. Shelton going inside. Kick back out. Gives them top to Bobby Moorhead. Moorhead over on the right side to Aubrey Shelton. Spot up from the right side is no good. Long rebound, though, and he got it back. That was actually Austin Shelton, not Aubrey. He fires another one. No. All right, now here's Maxi Law. They can get back into it. On the drive, this is Bates taking it right to the hoop. No good. Got his own offensive rebound. Put back. Count it. We've seen that a couple times now, and that's something to always i mean even in the five on five game coaches are always telling you like you gotta block out we don't want to give up any offensive rebounds so there get a good take to the basket make him take a tough shot but then he gets his own rebound and yeah. he's able to put it back in kind of interesting i'm looking over there's a timeout on the court i'm looking over to maxi law and morgan maxi has played the entire game his brother Ma mason maxi still has kind of a warm-up top on he hasn't taken it off yet so he hasn't played yet i don't know if he maybe injured i'm looking he's got a something on his left knee maybe a left knee wrap and he played a lot in the game that i did yesterday but uh he hasn't been in there yet yeah before. and he's, he's not even in his basketball shoes no, he's still you're right. wearing yeah. some, some slides there so i do wonder if he pulled up a little bit too sore um after his games yesterday which is what we were discussing right that's the the beauty and the brutality right. of three on three street ball is Sometimes, depending on your game schedules and also just the physicality of the teams you're playing, 
how much you're playing, the heat. There's all, all these different factors, which I always say, like, you're not only playing against your opponent, you're playing against the elements. Right. <laughs> and sometimes you pull up a bit sore. So I, I do commend him. I know it's tough. He's, he's a competitive guy for just making the decision for himself to possibly avoid injury. Not so, easy. You, you see him hands on his knees. He's he's still really invested. No. He's turned into a player coach, I think. He wants to be out there. You yeah. know he does. A steal by Maxi La. This is Morgan down low going against Austin, Aubrey Shelton. And the little jump hook down low is no good. Rebound Austin Shelton. The Shelton brothers have been hot from outside. This is Aubrey. He'll take a two. No. Halverson gets the rebound. Bjorn Halverson. 13-8, five-point lead. Maxi Law would love to hit this two from Maxi. Ooh, no. So if you're Maxi Law, do you just continue to do you go inside, or do you want to hit those twos outside, Shaq? What would you think? Well, I think that they've got the ball inside to Morgan Maxi really nicely. He just hasn't been able to finish. So you, you hope. I think that's still the key because you can get it inside to him, draw some attention, then he is able to kick out to those shooters. But you're hoping that Morgan Max is able to finish down low. Shelton, oh, rejected from behind. He did not know that Jason Bates was behind him. Jason Bates sky and high to knock that one out of bounds. Saved a bucket. Yeah, that was actually a great move, but excellent recovery, excellent help there by Maxie Law to come over and, and send that ball out. Reset. Drive Austin Shelton right to the hoop. Got it. 14-8. You know, looking around, Shaniqua. We've already got a decent crowd. It's 844. Yeah, and what's great is with this new location is you're not sitting shoulder to shoulder with people. Right. You do have some space. We have the burn there. You can sit on the grass. We do have some bleachers. But pe there's more room for more people to come and watch these elite athletes, which is great. Yesterday during the slam dunk contest, uh, the first part of the slam dunk contest, they'll finish it up this afternoon. But uh, this place was just packed. It's good to see. Shot by Bates, a little bit short. Got his own rebound. Inside to Maxi. Maxi against Shelton. Maxi going up with that little hook. Oh, and again, he, he had position underneath. Jack just missed this, that little baby hook. Yeah, he's had a lot of great looks, just unable to finish this this morning. Austin Shelton with the miss. Rebound Maxi Law. Maxi Law has got opportunities to get back in this one. They just need to hit a couple of buckets. Bates tried to make a spin move. Got cut off. Maxi lost it. Halverson picks it back up. This is Bjorn Halverson. Oh, that was a nice little shot through the key. Nice little floater, hook shot there. Did a great job of protecting himself using that inside shoulder. Five-point lead, 14-9. This one a long way from being over. This is Bobby Moorhead. Moorhead, fall back, jumper, count it. That's good for one, 15-9, six-point lead. It's funny, both teams were kind of hot from the outside. People have cooled down from the arc. Now it's almost more entertaining to watch because we're, we're getting to see these athlete skills scoring in a variety of ways. Just like you see yeah. there, Jason Bates, great footwork, great finish. How about skill? You just brought the word up, skill. That was a skillful Bates, shot. Very skillful. Moorhead on the inbounds, gets it into Shelton. Shelton, little head and shoulder fake. And, oh, he wanted to kick it out to his brother. Instead, it's stolen away by Bjorn Halverson. The lob down low to Bates and a foul before the shot. So again, uh, you, you don't count, count personal fouls. Nobody can foul out. After seven fouls, though, you go to the free throw line for bonus. That was a non-shooting foul. Maxie will bring it in. This is Morgan. A little left-handed jump hook. We haven't seen that left-handed jump hook, and he missed it. Yeah, just struggling to find, the, find himself a basket here in this game. That was Bobby Moorhead with a long two that's no good. Moorhead went to the University of Montana. Played there between 2015-2019. That's a long two is no good. Rebound to Aubrey and the boys. Pull up. No. Yeah, they're really cooling off a little bit from the outside. Yeah. I mean, I think the Sheltons, I think they hit the first three out of four from deep. And it's been cool off period since. Maxie, that might be offense. Yes, it was. Shelton had set himself pretty well down low, and Morgan Maxey just went in with that left shoulder and knocked him over. Yeah, Shelton's undersized, but he's been battling with him all all morning. 
Maxi just a bit too aggressive, lowering that shoulder there. Shelton, two, no. Rebound, those long rebounds off missed twos, and it came right back to his to Shelton, but <laughs> it went off of Shelton, they said. Shelton didn't think so, but it went off of him. It'll be out of bounds to Maxi. Second game of many games today. We've got the shootout. We've got the slam dunk. We've got championship games. We've got it all, Shaq. Yes, it's a very eventful Hoop Best Sunday. We love that. Center court here in the pavilion will be rocking. So much positive energy. I think everybody's just thankful to be back. Oh, uh, yes, they are. Get over and done with this COVID thing and uh, life as we used to know it. Yeah. Get back to more community events like this. Halverson, oh, a nice move. No, short. Legs might be just getting a little tired. He didn't have a lot of spring on that jumper. Yeah. Warhead from straightaway. No. 15-10. Score, score remains. Aubrey Dubois with a five-point lead. Play to 20. Loser's bracket, too. You lose. It's home. Oh, that was a nice shot down low. That was Jason Bates. I really like how patient Bates is whenever he gets the ball. You could tell he's, even though he's getting some really great pressure there from Bobby Moore, head of Aubrey and the boys, he just takes his time, doesn't get rushed. He's actually really great at finishing at the rim. And Shanique, when you look at the score, 15 to 11, so this one uh, far away from being over yet. And Aubrey and the boys going over and just kind of having some, they're not really huddling up, they're just having some water getting hydrated and you look over on the other side and uh, maxi law they're they're talking about it they're trying to say hey how are we going to get back in this when we're only down by four that's just two twos of course yeah. and uh, and they just need to to hit their shots yeah for sure i thought for a minute there when we first started this game that you and i were just gonna be on for five minutes and we we're gonna right, take yeah. a seat because everybody <laughs> was it was aubrey the boys hits a two the maxi law hits a two they were just kind of trading um, long range shots there for for a good minute but now everybody, I think that timeout was called, like you said, to just take a deep breath. What what needs to be done to finish this game? If you're Aubrey and the boys, I think you need to keep using those pin down screens like you see there for Bobby Moorhead. I think if you're Maxi Law, you got to get it inside to, to Morgan Maxi, and hopefully he's able to find some shooters or finish himself. Bobby Moorhead wanted to go up with a right-hand slam and uh, got a little bit off balance, but he got fouled to go to the free throw line. He took off like he was auditioning for the slam dunk competition. I don't, I don't know if he's aware that he had to be a part of the first round yesterday, but <laughs> yeah, you just don't. That first step, he took off like he really wanted to, yeah. to jam it down. Now you can dunk again in hoop fest, which is not you can't hang. Safety regions, obviously, but would have been cool to see. Ooh, Jason Bates on a nice pass from Halverson. A little give and go. Bates makes it a little closer. It's 15-12, 16-12, Aubrey and the boys. Moorhead wanted to shout out to his wife and his son, Greel and Wilson. Sheldon on the drive, got cut off down low. Pretty good defense by Halverson. And Halverson, a lot shorter player, but did a good job. Halverson wants the jump ball. Are they going to call a jump or are they going to call a foul? It's a jump ball. Good defense by Halverson. Yeah, I think that was the right call. Did a great job of staying down. A lot of people, when, when they're guarding somebody who shot fakes into a pivot, they like to jump. Everybody wants to get that crowd and <laughs> energizing block, but he did a great job of staying down and just meeting him on top of the ball. Maxi with the left hand, no. Rebound, Moorhead. You can tell he's frustrated. He's yeah. had a lot of good looks at the rim, just not falling this morning. Shelton, double team, can't get the shot off, back up top to Moorhead. Moorhead, are we going to get a jam? No? Oh, good defense, but they're going to call a goal 10 on Maxi coming over from the weak side. I mean, I know we're under the pavilion, so there's not technically a roof, but if Bobby Moorhead would have somehow, some way, <laughs> dunked on Morgan Maxi, I think we would have yeah. seen a lot of people lose their minds. Part of that pavilion above us might be yeah, fluttering a little bit. Yeah, it would have just bit. fluttered away for sure. Maxi kick out Bates, 4-2, short. That would have been big. That would have brought him yeah. within three. 16-12, our score. This is a long one by Moorhead. This is off the mark as well. They're not shy about putting up that two, but nobody's hitting right now. Moorhead over to the left side. He gives there to Shelton. Shelton, oh, that was contested, and he hits the corner three. Yeah, he just kind of moved the ball around, acted like he was trying to find something else, got it back to his shooting pocket, let it fly. Now he's... 
brought his team within one to winning this ball game. 18-12, and the bank is open as Halverson banks it for two. I said this yesterday, but obviously a bank still counts for whatever value <laughs> it, it is, obviously, but I think everybody always kind of has a spark. It's just a yeah. inside joke with the entire basketball community, which I think is fun. That oh, yeah. Did, you, did, did you call that? Sure I did. Of course I did. <laughs> Banks normally aren't open on Sunday. All, all those little <laughs> basketball jokes. Uh, this could be it. No, a foul called to the free throw line, and a free throw could win it. Bobby Moorhead will go to the free throw line. He was fouled by Maxie on the drive. It's 19-13. If he makes the free throw, Shaniqua, it's over. Yeah, that was a great play by Moorhead. They've been setting those pin down screens, away screens for him, and he's typically been coming off to potentially catch a shoot from the top of the top of the arc. And he gets it, and it's over. 20-13 to 13 is the final score. Aubrey and the boys will continue to play on this Sunday. For Maxi Law, they had a, a nice run in the tournament, and we'll be watching the rest of the games on SWX this afternoon. Yeah, that was a great battle. And like you, like, like we discussed earlier in, in the broadcast, they were Maxi Law was missing Mason Maxi, yeah. who was a great presence for them. And, again, it's day two of Hoop Best weekend. When you only have three people playing in these elite divisions, it can be exhausting. So with three people battling against a very talented Aubrey and the boys squad, they held their own. They've, they've definitely made them earn it. But unfortunately, their Hoop Fest weekend is over. Now they can have, go have a snow cone. Now, now they, you, you get to enjoy the other side of, of Hoop Fest. There you go. As uh, we look around and the crowd.